Hello guys and welcome back to the Sino-Soviet Union playthrough. On the last episode, we decided to attack Japan. I will be the one taking it while Dema assists me in my conquest of it. With Dema touting that he may go for either India or East Pakistan afterwards. And after many in-game months of building up justification and a lot of planning, we get to see that plan go into motion this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I'm preparing for a tough battle, so I'm setting... I think the on. start of it will be the easiest. I think claiming some ground isn't going to be so difficult. Reason being is they're not going to expect war, so they won't have their garrisons deployed. Look at them right now, only 77,000 army staff, and a lot of that has, just has to do with all the uh, buildings they have. It's going to take them a little bit to start getting garrisons up. Uh, they can be a I'm super... Trying. Between you and me, their cannon will be this super fast offensive, just pushing throughout the mainland, unless the U.S. shows up in more force than we would have expected. Oh, I'm expecting them to have a large force, so... I'm diverting a lot of my navy and land over there. In the event, it turns out to oh, fall out more. Syria just went non-aligned. That's the first person that went leaning to actually full out just go non-aligned while having amazing relations with me too. You can see a lot of my infantry and tanks and stuff are starting to arrive in the area. Passing through your lands. Look at them riding the rails. Except the ones that do faster on the road are actually getting off and following the road after a certain point. There's already over 400 units there. Is that just yours or mine as well? That's just mine. I, I, I can't exactly see how many exactly you have, but I have over 400 units chilling at Vladivostok. This will be a decent invasion once we once it goes through. I got capital ships lining this whole area, along with some escorts. You're going to have to go in where my caps go in. All, like my ships, my ships are gonna have to be the start of it so that they open up the territory. But once you get into my territory, you can push out pretty much all you want. Look at the Northern Island. You think that'll be enough? I see some US troops, but they're all from World War II. I think this will be enough. Do you know how excessive this could be? They have no garrison set up. They have no idea what's coming. This could just blaze through Japan at the speed of light before they manage to get anything to defend themselves. Like, we, we might be about to blitzkrieg 123 and a half million people. Would you rather th us blitzkrieg, or would you rather the U.S. have a chance to... I'd rather us blitzkrieg, but I'm, I'm just... It's hitting me just how excessive this might be. Just remember, they took Cuba. <laughs> well, the U.S. did, not Japan. <laughs> well, this is just a slap the U.S. in the face. Kinda, yeah. It's getting... It's... Not like Japan's actually worth very much militarily, but strategically. Pop -wise, strategically and pop wise. The funny thing is, this is probably more strategic for me just because it's something to help cement my presence in the East. But it's also strategic to... for you because since it's not owned by a blue, it's essentially just a big buffer for you. Yeah, pop-wise, this is the fourth largest country. UK is on track to pass it, and definitely will pass it. Hey, Rez, look at what's coming from Taiwan. Even more troops. God, this is gonna be such a blitz. This is gonna be such a blitz. And the best part is, this is only gonna affect my treaty integrity. So you could go for East Pakistan immediately after if you wanted. You know, in real life, all this mobilization would, you know, would be a little noticeable, but right now, nah, is this? It's okay. It's nothing. It's fine. We're we're camouflaged in Korean. Don't mind us. We're just some Korean patrol boats. That's that's all this is. Dude, to be able to afford to have all these troops on standby, I actually slowed my research to a hundred percent, and I turned off all my military fabs except the missile one. One thing to remember is, as the mutual defense party. You are not able to be attacked, like, by the U.S. unless you are standing in my territory. So all your ships will be safe until you get them into the territorial waters. Wait, can I attack U.S. troops outside of the territorial waters if I'm in your waters? 
No. They have to be in Japan's waters. So, they can't attack me if I'm even in your waters. They can, if they're in Japan's waters. I was making sure if how the international water stuff works. If you're in international waters, you're safe. I was asking if they're in international waters, I'm in your waters, after you take land. Then you're safe. Oh, I'm finally able to get better multi-roll. Hey, and one of them can land on short deck carriers. Well, these are both really good. I'm gonna have to go for both. Another helicopter for short deck carriers, but it's only for recon. Yuck. Yak 60. Ooh. That is a really good transport. That's really nice. Moves fast as fuck. What the hell is this? Doesn't have any cargo capacity. What kind of transport doesn't have cargo capacity? It's a fuel tanker. Don't you need cargo capacity to be a fuel tanker? I don't think this is excessive. Uh, don't look at China. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> Fucking hell. I just realized that Japan actually has over a hundred uh, billion in debt. A hundred and nearly twenty. By the point where you start invading, it'll be a hundred and twenty-four million people. They may lose some people during the war, but... That's a lot of people to suddenly flip to our side. Well, you can't say I didn't uh, help with uh, pushing units over there. Oh yeah, I can see that. And I'm realizing just with how much I sent and how much you sent, this is going to be so stupid of a cakewalk. Like, I am going way overboard on the Northern Island. And I... We're just going way overboard on everything, alright? The only thing we're not going overboard on currently is the amount of actual not land units we've sent. Well, to be fair, I'm not really going to have much of an impact with that. I can hold the port, but as as far as holding international waters, that's something you'll have to focus on. Oh, Uruguay had a fucking upheaval, and now it's Warsaw. Warsaw aligned. Nice. Free Uruguay. Hop on that while you can before it goes leaning and then non-aligned. Canada and Spain made an alliance. Spain officially has an ally. The most expensive part of this for me, by the way, is actually getting the, um, the war justification. To go full speed against Japan costs 107 mil a day for me. Hey look, we have equal military bars right now. Not even half my military is deployed still. Not even close to half. This is a third. That moment when I still have more justification by default towards Austria and Belgium than I do with Japan after building it up for this amount of months. And reconnaissance satellite, ready to launch. All I'd say is treat your soon-to-be new colony well. Yes, I'll milk it of all it has and then eventually probably annex it. Real well. Side note, you're about to hit 800 fucking million people. How long has it been since the last AI war was declared? I'm pretty sure it was South Africa, and they're still fighting. They they really, they're just having problems. They're always out of money, they're deflating, they're bleeding people, they don't have enough supply to actually take Portuguese Angola. They've killed 68, lost 172, so you know they're not doing well. Total of 63,000 casualties, but they have taken land. Who is Eritrea allied with? Yeah, that's a bug, I think, because it hasn't shown me who that's supposed to be. It's just been like that since they became independent. I'm pretty sure that's just a bug. Oh, yeah, it did there. Oh, yeah, their war did end. Oh, that ended a while ago. Ethiopia just kind of gave up short of taking the capital. Makes yeah, me wonder why asking. France doesn't give up fighting Vietnam quote-unquote fighting, quote-unquote. I'm starting to get the feeling that larger nations take longer to get justification against the smaller nations. Because it feels like it should be right around 70% by now. Because hasn't it been like a decent time frame since uh, you started? The thing is, I started at 0%. Every other time I've started justification, I've had like 
at least 20% already. Also, this is the largest nation I've ever tried to get justification against, so that wouldn't make sense. The only thing that changes is the amount of money it takes. That's all. That being said, we are... I thought a time indicator. We are up to 56%. Bahrain and Tangi made an alliance. So out of all these things that released over here, the three things that released recently in the Middle East, only Bahrain is getting any alliances. And it's weird that it has any, considering it's a completely bankrupt little island with no real purpose. By the way, remember how sometimes you, you uh, go looking for little things to deconstruct to save costs, by the way? Yeah. I just want to put into perspective how little every single facility consumes. Every day, look at like, you know how much fucking infrastructure, industry, and roads I have. Hell, my roads alone, my maintenance is 222 million a year. 22 in rails. Not to mention all the other fucking like refineries, buildings, and all this other shit I have. Every day, every single road, building, Factory everything that is under the resource tab or part of my network, even military facilities, I believe, adds up to a grand total of $12 million a day total for all of it. Just to show how little that is. I found a bunch of my ships got stuck on East Pakistan. They didn't know how to pathfind around for a moment there. I was wondering, like, I, I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure this isn't all that I sent. My pop is actually growing at a more reasonable pace now. Quote unquote, growing. You just have more deaths, less births, and more emigration now. <laughs> That's the main things. We're at, uh, 65%. You're gonna want to start raising whatever you've done to your military spending soon so that you're efficient and ready for battle when we hit 70. Because I can tell that you have cut a lot of military funding by the fact that your approval rating was almost halved. Will the UK match Japan and pop before the war starts? Before it starts, no. By the end of it, yes. Because people are going to emigrate from Japan during this war. Damn, Japan has uh, some islands that go kind of far out into the Pacific. Those will be nice to have. <laughs> Perfect. One has a village, a seaport, an airbase, and a barracks. Exactly what I would have put there. Oh. Oh. What? North Borneo. The loyalty of that place is to Malaya. Look at the loyalty map. The loyalty of North Borneo is to Chinese Malaya. Well, if you do end up getting that, you can literally just add it to Chinese Malaya if you haven't annexed them by now. And guess what time it is? Time for your war. It's time to go to war, baby. Are you ready? Yup, I'm already over there. Declare war. I'm gonna have to clear this path directly to Nagata. And then bum rush literally all these motherfuckers in. And then the same thing over here to Sapporo. Apply my global ROE to everybody now. Ah, <sighs> are you ready? I'm gonna put it on yep, normal. I just to start. I have to wait for purposes. you to get land before I can start throwing my units in. Okay, I have declared war on Japan. My troops Support. are moving. It's time. What about up north? Up north, I've got the areas captured and troops are landing, coming in, meeting no resistance. The US isn't even fighting, firing at me. The US isn't trying to stop me. Now, now they are? Oh, I don't know. No, they're not really, they're not truly trying uh, to stop can me. You, uh, I need your ships to stay in a reasonable location. My ships are going and claiming territory. The US can't just come over to the dock and take territory. If my ships take all the territory, the US can't even arrive. I hope you know that. No, I more meant, um, because my path in was getting blocked. Uh, it shouldn't be blocked right now. Your troops are just trying to, like, disembark is a lot, is what I'm noticing. No, I meant earlier, like, I saw, like, it was going back to Japan. Oh, well, it isn't right now. I have the supply. Holy crap, I can't, uh, 
couldn't get my units moved fast enough. Yeah, they, they see, they didn't have enough time to get garrisons up. They're just now starting to get garrisons up. It's just a blitz. Like I said, the very urban areas are starting to get some garrisons up. No U.S. forces really to worry about so far. The North Island is basically completely captured. My troops are starting to reroute to the mainland. It's looking good on the mainland, uh, heading north and south. It's just a giant mix of both of our units right now pushing around. I'm gonna give my uh, AI some initiative, see if that helps. Yeah, I gave mine some, I gave mine his uh, initiative back for this. Set your battle zones. There are some United States troops in the south, but not much. The garrisons really are gonna be the worst of it. I see a nice giant blob of your troops. Wait, why are my troops trying to leave? Did you give them battle zones? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe just micro it a little. A lot of my naval ships came out of hiding, by the way. Like a whole lot of them. A lot of my troops on land have started coming out to sea. I'm uh, pushing towards Tokyo. Nice. I'm cleaning up the north. Oh boy, oh boy. Let me set the war to colonize the region. Holy crap, this area is just falling. Yeah, dude. Look at this. Dude, the US isn't coming. This is pretty much over. Oh dude, some of my high-flying planes showed up. And they're just bombarding the shit out of some places. Yeah, they fucking zoomed in. Wow, they're so powerful. Holy fuck. We took their capital. I'm being spammed by bleeps as things fall. Just took their capital, like... Holy shit. God damn it. Some of the U.S. troops are trying to run away that are here, the ones that aren't already trapped. This is a pushover. Oh, they got some troops moving, the U.S., but they're moving through my territory. I think they're, I think they're trying to leave. I think they're trying to run away. They are. They're not even bothering to try to stay and fight. Look at my, my navy deployed in force over here. Holy shit. Hey, there's Korean patrol boats running around now. Oh, Korean merchant marines. Wait, are, is Korea sending land forces? Korea sent land forces. They sent some. Not a lot, but they've sent some. The new capital, capital is Fukuoka. Wait, what? Unit surrenders. There's Japanese garrisons that are just straight up surrendering. They're not even fighting. They're surrendering as we arrive to them. Dude, literally, every time you step on a village, every time either of us steps on a village and there's a garrison at this point, it says unit surrenders. They're literally just all surrendering. The garrisons won't even fight. They have no morale. Look at their military approval rating. 4.4%. They don't have any morale. Some US capital ships have arrived. Some. Big emphasis on some. Uh, nothing that could defeat this giant force I have now. Wow, dude, this is literally as overkill as I thought it would be. We took their capital. And that capital's dead. Gotta get that island still. I'm gonna work on it. I'm sending some troops to sea transport over. Gotta get some islands. Oh, oh, oh it's over. Under. It's over. Say hello to Soviet Japan. So look. 20 million or so people ran away during that war. Soviet Japan is now a country. They've inherited all the debt and stuff of old Japan though. So let's see if they can get off the ground by themselves. If they can, good. If they can't, I'll just end up annexing them. The war is over, just like that. They gave up, finally. That was quick, there was like no resistance. The Soviet Japan immediately starts taking out some more debt because, of course, they inherited all the old debt. But look at this. This is fucking nice. This Japan's domestics are starting out fine. They're, they're starting out pretty well, in fact. Let's see how their economics end up, if they end up having any problems. Japan also has some fucking research that I don't have that I'm just going to take for free. 
Thank you, Japan. Holy crap. That's a lot that I don't have. I mean, I'm seeing yours, but... That's 12 on the list that I don't have right now. Oh, and... The Bahamas has been freed by the United Kingdom. There's Koreans on Japan. They did send some people to help. It was not the flood that I wanted to see, but they did send some people. I didn't lose a single unit during that war, and I doubt you did it. No, you didn't either. We didn't lose a single actual unit during that war, because most of the garrisons just surrendered. Did you send a fuck ton of troops to Burma? Yup. Why? Oh, that's why. Troops are still slowly but surely shipping out of uh, Japan. I gave them a, I gave some of them a mass order, but I left the rest of the AI, and the AI is still slowly moving units around. But damn, my naval presence in this area has gotten a lot larger. You see it? I sent uh, Japan a one-time stimulus to say sorry for the invasion and see if they can get on their feet. A one-time stimulus of 10 billion. Figure a billion every 10 million people they have rounding down. How'd you even acquire 10 billion that quick? Um, you know, that's a good question. <laughs> I was no longer spending money uh, destroying their, like, uh, government for war justification. I had increased the prices of all my domestic goods, and my maintenance was lowered. My maintenance is still lowered. But I, I ended up with, like, 11 billion. I was like, alright, so I kind of just fucked their country up big time. They may not become self-sustaining. They just took out, like, 6 billion in debt. They're already 100 plus billion in debt. I'm just gonna hand them... 10 billion and if they become self-sustaining hell yeah if they don't well looks like i'm gonna gain over 100 million more people damn that's a such a great accomplishment right there that's one of the biggest blues in the game gone not biggest militarily but population wise oh okay <laughs> soviet japan with your colonies you have like an auto accept balance offer thing and they just offered to buy oil from me for like twice its price. I guess that's one thing to do with the money I sent them. Sure. Oh my god. When the fuck? They have already made a land fab. I didn't tell them to do that. In fact, it might not even have been them. When Japan started getting attacked, they may have chosen to start building their first land fab. And then this Japan finished it. Well, they, they have a, a little bit of land production now. France and Guyana made an alliance, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I actually thought that war would have caused something, but it didn't. Caused what? The U.S. to go to war or something? I thought it would have uh, caused supplies to uh, shuffle around more than it did. Why would you think that? There was almost... Technically, no fighting in that war. I thought that before it happened, not during. And then, it. the only reason supplies would start being used more during that is because of fighting, like constant fighting. The moment the war ends, the buyers stop. I thought the rest of the world would have started packing and buying a lot of resources. The rest of the world already has a lot of resources if they can afford it. And Chile had a coup d'etat. That's good, because now they're... Well, now they're neutral. Now they're not aligned, but they still love their me. Their government likes me. Yeah, their government likes me. They're still not aligned, but I can get treaties. I'm gonna support it. They'll probably just drift back into NATO, quite honestly. Oh my goodness, this is so slow. What's slow? Building up justification? Yeah. Yeah? It's a slow process. It takes a while to make up a reason why you should own a country. They're threatening to go to war with me. Well, that's that's just a lie. Ooh, India just moved to NATO aligned. Of course, because no one's been trading with them, but yeah. I'm, I'm not going to bother getting India out of that. I tried yeah, already. Yeah, I mean, if I have to, I'll take it. I'm sure you won't want to annex it. <laughs> You can uh, always colonize get a, it you first. You can always colonize that shit. 1v1, I could probably compete strongly against the US, but the problem is NATO. 
I don't know that you could actually 1v1 them yet. You're getting there. You could give them a real good fight, and I don't think they could actually invade you and win. I think you're both at a point where you can't attack each other and win, but I think you have some uh, military growth yet to do, and some financial growth to do to maintain your military before you could 1v1 them. But I think you're getting really close. One of my colonies is constantly losing peoples very, very slowly. Seems like you're gonna have to annex them. I'm keeping an eye on them. At this rate, in a few years, I can start getting a carrier that's a nuclear carrier and it's better than the uh, Beijing. My own modern nuclear super carrier from the year 88. It can even defend itself from ships and launch missiles. And it has four plane slots on it. And Albania just went non-aligned. Why are you doing this? Wait, how did that happen? Guess what time it is for us. Uh, th this, those sounded like two very unrelated sentences, but I know what time it is. What's the, how did that happen? Okay, I went from 68 or 69 to 79 war justification. 79? Yes. Well, okay then. And I wanna unpause it. And the war for East Pakistan begins. Are you gonna annex it or colonize it? I'm colonizing it. This will soon be Chinese Pakistan. Their garrisons are still World War II era. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Watching fighting on fastest speed can just be like, bleh. <laughs> They're sending infantry at you. That infantry has combat experience against who? India? A whole bunch of garrisons. God, these die so quick. Oh, looks like a lack of supply is catching up with you. I've seen a lot of uh, stuttering going on. I'm not seeing a lot of stuttering. I'm seeing a lot of troops running out of supplies. Like right there. Oh yeah, right there it did. It was whatever that movement order was. That happened when fighting Japan too. Yeah, I made a large order. Well, semi-large order. Oh, they're sending more infantry. With silver stars, who are you fighting? I'm trying to, like, spread my units out. You didn't have much way to spread them out until right now. Well, sorta. East Pakistan doesn't have very good infrastructure. A lot of this war is gonna happen off the road. Oh no, Rez, I lost two units. Did you actually? Yes. All Japan, not one unit lost. Fucking some outdated East Pakistanians. Two units lost. To be fair, uh, Japan didn't have any uh, ma actual military. They had a bunch of garrisons and they were basically giving up after a certain point. Oh dude, they were just giving up every single time. That was so funny. It was just a giant road of garrison gave up. Garrison surrendered. Garrison surrendered. Garrison surrendered. Like one truck was just fucking driving down the street getting everyone to surrender. Oh, I see another unit that's gonna die. Combat engineer that went way too far in. Oh, and another one. Yep. Look at that cavalry. You better watch out. That shit's gonna get you good. And coup d'etat in Greece. Back! Uh, yeah, this is lagging like crazy. I have a solution. Funny enough, you would think that if you actually played the game faster, it would make the slowdowns more frequent. It doesn't. I see some of your uh, merchant marines have showed up in the south, not quite knowing where to go. And their capital's about to fall, and it fell. Are they gonna move it? They have moved it. Although it's, it's not even really a fight. It's just a bunch of shitty garrisons. Uh, they have militia walking out of the capital and some infantry like, we're gonna go to war. Thank God so many of your troops over here are amphibious, otherwise these uh, rivers would be a problem. Their units are just blowing up in mass. Damn, that's a whole lot of agriculture right there. They have a lot of agriculture in this place. And the US shows up. That would be funny. 
This is just too far away from the U.S. It would take them so long to get here. Literally just down to some back-end villages at this point. Nothing but garrisons in your way. It's just a matter of time at this point. There goes another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. <laughs> Capital's about to fall. Oh, it's done. It's done. It's over. Fucking capital fell, and they were immediately like, "Yep, we're done. We surrender. We give up. It's over. All hail our new Chinese overlords." Goodbye.